Oh, we got Sway in the morning, Shay four five. Thirty six minutes past the top of the hour. Wow, when you when you when you hear her name, man, it's just you know it's it's just synonymous with um, popularity. <laughs> All right, uh, scandal in the past, you know. Um, uh, but right now, motivation, you know, and, um, and and reinvention, you know. Heidi Fleiss is on the show with us this morning. Yeah, you look just like you do on TV. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Right? Good to meet you. How you doing? All right. How do you do? I, I, I can't. I, you know, it's, I just got off a plane this morning. I was in Atlanta last night, hanging out with um, Bob, the artist, the rapper Bob, and Two Chains. Um, not sure if you're familiar with. I don't know Gorilla Zoe and these guys. I don't. Do you, do you listen to? Gorilla? I bet they're super famous and super good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're pretty big, you know. And I was just, you know, so I, I knew you were going to be on the show. So I said, I got to fly back. I get back. I got to get back for Heidi. You <laughs> yeah, know, right. you know, he, he rushed right over. I, 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 a pimp's true. a pimp. A pimp's a pay. <laughs> Heidi, <laughs> damn, damn it. Heidi, Heidi <laughs> flies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, <laughs> so you, you know what it is. <laughs> this is how yeah, I get paid. It ain't, it ain't easy, you know. Heidi flies prostitutes to parrots. What what explain that that title? What title. Well, I thought birds not bitches would make sense, but, yeah, but the birds <laughs> on bitches. The birds not bitches. Oh, birds not, not bitches. bitches. That's good. Birds not bitches. But Animal Planet didn't like that, so mm-hmm. we went with prostitutes, not parrots. Now prostitutes was the old profession. Now birds is I just work for the birds now. Uh huh. You just I, work for. The- I work for the birds. I'm the caretaker. Yeah. Now I, I, the show's kind of crazy, but that's just how my life is. It was always a little bit crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, how I was gonna live, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not nine to five. You had a, a great. You had a great run, though. And, oh yeah. And so, uh, so yeah. do you reflect on that run during this show? I could do it again. You could do it again? <laughs> really? Like, no, no, no. I actually have a relationship show, a legal, legal dating show going to come out in, in February. We're going to film in February. So what kind of advice, like in, in the show, will you be giving advice or, or are you going to be? Dating, for instance, I don't know if you're married, single or what, but you put me in a room full of women, I'll tell you which one you'll be with and have the best time with right away. <laughs> okay, damn it. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, now. But how can you okay, tell? Now, what are some of the symptoms? Like I, yeah. I just know. I can tell right away by someone's body language, how they talk, what they talk about. It just, it, it For me, it's something inherently that I just know and I know better than anyone. Uh-huh. I really, I just know who will, anyone in here, if you put a room, I spend three minutes with you, three minutes with each person, and then I'll give me a whole lineup and I'll know which one you will have the most fun with. Wow. And you know what? If I can make two people happy just for that one time, that's fine. I'm not talking about a lifetime Mm -hmm. because most people, you know, it's not supposed to last forever anyways. You know, I have some prostitution questions. I'm Absolutely. fascinated by prostitution. Because Deb was, yeah. you know, yeah, you know before, you doing, you want. before being a, a radio personality, one of her biggest aspirations was to be a madam. Go ahead. Okay. Now, there is some partial truth to that because I've always been really fascinated by, you know, the game in general. I want to know kind of a little bit more. You know, we, we've talked to pimps on the show before, you know, and they're like, you know, we don't pay our bitches nothing. They just get out there on the stroll. How did you uh, pay your women? Yeah, uh, they pay me. So you, it was the same thing. They, like, they bring me my green, but they didn't well, get to keep it. nothing. Oh no, 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 no. Of course, of course. But it works like this: you pay the girl, and the girl, she pays me. Because it's a thing of trust. We don't trust each other, and none of this will work. <laughs> I mm-hmm. said that right to a cop. That was so. Idiot. Oh, that's what you said to the cop. <laughs> yeah. oh, so you and just gave it one of your girls. But <laughs> it's true. Like when I meet a girl, I said, "Look at you can you can beat me. You can rip me off from my cut. You can whatever. You got ten grand. You take that four grand and go. But uh, you cost that four grand. That costs you two hundred fifty grand. So it's up to you. That costs you two million. You don't know. You have no idea what one of these guys I introduced you is going to give you. You have no idea." So you can rip me off anytime you want. It's mm. all up to you. So when you got started, how did you even begin to, because you have the infamous book. <laughs> you know, Heidi Fleiss's book had all the top names in Hollywood, all the top names in the game. How do you even begin to build a book and, and solicit uh, okay, these customers? Like, like this business is people say, oh, she stole a book or someone got my number. It doesn't work like that. Okay, people deal with you because they want to deal with you. My clients called me because they have no problem dealing with me. And there's a trust issue. And they were right because I never ratted on anyone never named a name never never busted anyone out and people always know charlie sheen only because when i was arrested i had his traveler's checks in my purse if his traveler's checks were not in my purse he, uh. his name never would have come out 
Well, he was the biggest trick of them all, was he? Or? No, small time. I can't live off his money. No you way. couldn't live? What? God damn. What the? Wow. What no, do you but, think? But, but, but he, he, he's, I love Charlie. You know, he's awesome. He's more famous than ever. He lives like a rock star. He spends his money on women. I think Charlie's rad. Charlie's yeah. aw- awesome. But you know? he wasn't. He was small time. Hey, for oh. me, like, come on. What, what, what was I, big I, like, time? What was an example of a big time spender? Like, come on, I have clients. A, a guy give five girls a million dollars to split. That's good money. What, <laughs> what the hell? What kind and, of? And look, it has nothing to do with some magic whatever coochie or something like that. It has nothing to do with it. It's all relative to how much money you make. You know, if you're a billionaire or or, or in excess of a billionaire. Mm-hmm. They say, and you and you're missing whatever, uh, twenty million, a hundred million. It's not going to change your life. You're not even going to notice. So it's all it's all relative to how much money you make. That's all it is. We got it has nothing to do with the number. What is the? I I gotta know this. What is the craziest thing someone has paid one of your girls for back in the day? Oh my god, I had girls get you know some some people got married and girls get uh, one guy gave this girl. Two apartment buildings, and I'm not talking little things like with 60 damn. units, God, and all, all paid for. No mortgage, no nothing. Why like, did I get girls, into radio again? Some yeah. of these girls got <laughs> Because you have integrity, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. I mean, like, what is... What the things that the do you call them Johns or do you just what's the call craziest them? thing that they had yeah, a girl what do? They, what's the craziest thing they paid a girl to do for them? Well, my stuff went like because uh, the the level I was at, it wasn't some like crazy like kinky or fetish club or something like uh-huh. that. You know, like hey, two two one guy, two girls is pretty normal. You know, wow. that that stuff is pretty normal. And uh, there, I didn't have too much. There wasn't any like freaky weirdo stuff that you would be like, oh, that's not sexy at all, you know. Okay. Okay. So, thinking. so no, like you know, billy clubs and no anal, dildo like salesmen or nothing like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. yeah. yeah well, you know, some people like the golden showers and whatnot, but that wasn't really a part well, of it. That's normal for wonder. <laughs> all right, Johnny, <laughs> can, can you come? What do you do? You live in on the east coast or the west coast? Nevada. I live in Nevada. When are you back on the east coast? Um, I'm not sure. Can you come back on this show? Yeah, let's have some fun. Earlier, and we're going to do let you yeah. co-host with us, okay? Yeah, yeah. let's, that would be let's awesome. pick some good phone sex people. Okay, that's what's up. Heidi Fleiss, uh, Prostitutes to Paris tonight at 8 p.m. on Animal Planet. Thank you for coming through. Yes. All right, and we Thank learned you. a lot. Deb, you good? I learned a lot. Okay. I might, you know, I, I need to do some more research, but I might have a second business starting. Okay, that's <laughs> what's up. Debbie Deb, the madam, 888-SHADE-45. <laughs> Call us, leave your voicemails about today's show. Game.